Hey guys, it's John Walter. I just recently built a dark room in my parents carport. They had a bathroom in there that they weren't really using except for storage. It's just a three foot by four foot room. So it's pretty small, but I was able to fit everything in there and just wanted to show it to you. Here's the entrance of my dark room. I've just got a dark curtain over that that blocks out light. I uh, just bought it at Walmart, I think, for 10 bucks, um, and it helps keep the light out, and there is still a little bit of light that gets into the dark room, but it's hardly anything, so it doesn't really affect it. I put a towel at the bottom, uh, just to make sure that nothing gets through since the, since the curtain wasn't long enough, so... There's the enlarger. As you can see, it's rather large, rather tall, pretty wide. After I picked up the enlarger, I didn't even know if it would fit in this room. I didn't take any measurements. I didn't expect the enlarger to be as big as it was, but luckily it fit in here almost perfectly uh, to match what I needed. So. Uh, down there you can see the toilet, <laughs> but yeah, so this is where I do all the developing of the paper once I've exposed the uh, photographic paper to the enlarger light, um, so I can do all my developing stop bath, fix bath, and then the final rinse there, and I'll just keep changing out the water as I go, as I'm making prints. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of excited about this digital timer. I had just the regular dial clock timer, basically, um, analog. And this is nice to just be able to punch in the numbers that I need right away and just hit expose and it will turn the enlarger on and off for me. I just really like that. But uh, yeah, and then I've got some art up on the wall. That's my wife, Savannah. She's always been supportive of my photography. So I just wanted to have her in here with me. And I've always loved that photo that I'd taken of her. Then over here, uh, I went and asked my mom if she had any metal signs that I could use in the dark room. And she said, I've only got one left, but uh, you can use it. And it was this Indian motorcycle replica uh, sign. So kind of cool. My, I think my mom's grandpa had like a 1920s, 1930s Indian motorcycle. And we have a photo of him sitting on it, uh, an old black and white photo. And then I just use it to dry my prints. And uh, it's pretty basic setup, but <laughs> it gets the job done. And then over here, I've got this photo of Audrey Hepburn. She's one of my favorite actresses, and she was just a really amazing person. And the photo was taken by Felipe Halsman, and he's one of my favorite photographers. So offers me some inspiration whenever I step in here. So, yeah. I don't know, there's not really a whole lot to see. Typically, a dark room, you have your dry side and your wet side, and you try to keep them as far away as possible so you don't get your dry paper wet on accident, or, I don't know, it can mess up development and stuff. But I'm working with what I've got, so it gets the job done, and I enjoy it. I've got some prints here. Uh, that I've made. That's my cousin Rachel taking some photos. And then, uh, this is a cat that my mom found, just a little kitten. I uh, grabbed my camera and went and took some photos. Um, and I'm, I've used two different papers. One is a glossy and the other one's a matte finish. Um, I prefer the matte finish, but I found a really good deal on eBay 
for the glossy. It was like a hundred sheets of five by seven for twenty five bucks. So it's hard to beat that. I've been wanting to get into more portraiture work. I really like this this photo. I didn't know how it would turn out. I shot this on my Mamiya C330. Uh, I was sh shooting photos at the Wall of Death uh, motorcycle show and I had that camera with me and I thought oh, I'll give it a shot but it's pretty dark in here so I don't know how they'll turn out and they ended up turning out pretty well. last one here it's just my road bike and my mom had a mannequin hand so I put it in the back of the bike that's what boredom does to a person that's my dark room and there's not a whole lot to it but it's fun it kind of just goes to show you that you don't need a huge setup to make prints just need to be organized. Anywho, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.